hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm sorry if my voice is a bit nasal i'm not feeling the best so as you can see this is my bare face and i'm just massaging i'm going to be mixing two foundations today the maybelline superstay and black opal now i just i'm checking my face to see if i matched it properly it's a bit too yellow for me but i was going to make it work so this is me just blending the foundation in as much as i can i'm working in sections so that i don't get overwhelmed and i'm blending it in matching it to my neck so i'm done with my foundation blended it in I'm going in with Ezekiel concealer I just got this so it's a bit new to me and oh my god I was so disappointed with the color because I was thinking it would give me this really nice yellow concealer but it was a bit red or orange I wasn't impressed with this at all but you know I had already started so I just had to finish it so when I was done blending that in, I had to go in with my LA Girl Yellow Corrector to give me that orange, that yellow tinge, sorry. Because I really like bright on the eye. So I went in with a brighter concealer later. So now I'm going to go in with my Milani Pot Concealer to as my contour. That's what I use as my cream contour. So I just went in with that on a, with a brush in the perimeters of my face. This is where I like to add a soft shadow to my huge forehead. So now for my nose contour, I'm starting at the edge of my eyebrows and i'm taking it down because i feel like this just gives me a better contour when i take it from my eyebrows so now i'm going in with this cream blush from a nigerian brand called be euphoria beauty and it's in this beautiful orange shade and it's a cream blusher so this is like my first time using a cream blush so i'm taking a sponge and i'm scared but i'm moving it into my pressing it into my skin and i'm trying to be light-handed because i don't want to be orange you know so now i'm going to go in with my setting powder this is also from a nigerian brand called flawless ivy i just didn't show it in the video and i still believe in baking guys especially if you're in if you live in a tropical climate like i do baking is important you can't just use pressed powder and expect that your makeup will stay on all day so i was just putting this on areas where i get the most oily now i'm doing my eyebrows with this new eyebrow gel i just discovered it's from woody cosmetics on instagram now i thought i wanted a light colored eyebrow gel but this was a bit too light for me it was bordering on gray and i feel like the color didn't really come out the way i wanted it to come out but yeah so my eyebrows are pretty much carved perfectly so i just followed the shape now i am outlining my eyebrows with some concealer just to neaten it up and increase the contrast since the eyebrow gel was not really dark the concealer will help to increase the contrast and make it more visible so the same brand woody cosmetics they they also sent me an eyeshadow palette and it's a nude palette that is so beautiful it's up my alley the colors are lovely So I'm going in with this amber everyday shade. Just I use it all over my lid because this is an everyday look and every I don't use eyeshadow every day or elaborate eyeshadow every day. This was just a really nice wash of color so that my lids are not 
bare or anything so now i did my lashes off camera and this is me adjusting them in the camera and now i'm going in with mascara on my lower lash line now this is also a new pencil i just bought it's from la pride i think and it's supposed to be a lip liner but the color was quite disappointing i couldn't really see it wasn't visible as well so i'm i'm quite disappointed with this bone i was determined to make the most out of it because i had already started using it so i'm just going in with a lipstick from the same woody cosmetics i think this is in color 11 yeah this is in color 11 and it's supposed to be a semi matte lipstick it's not fully matte it's supposed to be like creamy but i would say that this lipstick was lacking in pigment but the texture was great as well but the texture was great but it's really lacking in pigment So now I'm going in with this um, loose highlight powder from Blossom Cosmetics and I'm just going in lightly because I don't want to glow too much. And now I'm topping off the look with some pink lip gloss i actually thought this would be a pink lip gloss but this is more like a clear lip gloss so that was also disappointing i mean i thought i thought it would have some color but apparently not so this is a setting spray from kiss beauty and it was very cheap so I use it very generously because um, I can always buy another one <laughs> and I'm, I just saturated my face with it and I'm using a fan to dry my face and this is the finished look guys don't forget to like and subscribe